a video camera switcher, an audio interface, a capture card, and a streaming device. And normally these are different devices, but what if a single product did it all? Introducing the Roadcaster Video. One device to rule them all, but does it truly do it all? So this device is super interesting to me. It feels disruptive to the current market, which I love, and it may not have a place in your production. So I was really, really excited when I saw this device months before its release. I love what Rhoda is trying to do here. And to understand what that is exactly, we have to pull back the curtain a little bit here. So when it comes to video production, there are two ways to go about this. We've got pre-production and live production. When it comes to pre-production, what I mean by that is we're looking at software-based solutions. You set everything up in advance by creating scenes in a software like Ecamm, OBS, or vMix. So you can connect it to, a, say, a Stream Deck, and you just hit buttons while you're live or recording or on Zoom, and everything you want to happen happens when you want it. And this is broadcast quality at its fingertips. This gives you full control so you can create anything your imagination comes up with. Now, this is all done in software. And as you know, our magical Mr. Paul Dixon has created a ton of graphics and overlays and profiles that you can literally just load into Ecamm, vMix or OBS and have everything ready to go. Pre-production makes creating easy. You can sit down, you can create, you can be done with it, and you don't necessarily even ever have to edit the video. But the problem with it is if you have too many inputs, too many cameras and capture cards, you can overload your system. It can cause a lot of problems. So you either need to offload some of those resources into multiple computers or a dock, that is connected to your computer, your computer needs extra power to be able to handle it all. So that's where live production comes into place and we're looking at hardware solutions like the Blackmagic A10, for example. It takes the load off of the computer onto a single device. And this is where we look at live production, meaning that you're creating things on the fly rather than pre-selecting what you want to happen. And so for big productions like we did with our virtual event, Expand Your Reach, this is what we rely on is hardware solutions, but it's a single camera at a time. And so you have limited customization. It requires a little bit more of a tech head mentality and an advanced user. So those are the two types of video production and the Roadcaster video fits smack dab right in the middle. It's part live production, part pre-production. In other words, it's part Ecamm and Stream Deck and part ATEM. You can have six sources, so cameras, webcams, computers. There are four HDMI inputs for pro cameras like the Sony's, plus two USB C inputs for wireless mics or webcams. But you also have seven pre-built scenes, which are a collection of cameras and graphics and audio sources. And it wouldn't be a Rode product without having high quality audio mixing capabilities. You can live stream directly to this device and you also have the ISO recording capability, meaning you have isolated video and audio tracks in addition to the ability to have an all-in-one track. You can even set it up to auto switch between different cameras based on voice activation. So when somebody speaks, the cameras automatically switch to that person. As fully functional as this device is, you cannot do anything you possibly want to like you can in Ecamm vMix or OBS. You do have templates that you're going to work within in the software. 
For example, you're not gonna get circular or custom cameras like you can in Ecamm, but you can do everything you need to do. You can share your slides in a pip, you can do interviews, you can do graphics and overlays, multiple audio sources and mix them and match them. You can put sound effects in it. Um, you can stream directly from the device itself. So how do you know if it's the right choice for you? Well, if you want multiple types of cameras, aka sources, cameras, webcams, computers, and you don't wanna deal with the hassle of multiple capture cards and power docks, if you don't like having a subscription for software, if you don't feel like you need to have full customization, you're fine with some limits on what you can create. If you want to have the ability to create stuff on the fly, like we do for our on-site and remote production work here at Live Streaming Pros. If you don't care about bringing comments up on screen, it is RTMP only. And if you consider yourself a little bit of a techie or advanced, then this Roadcaster video could actually serve your needs really, really well and could mean that the money that you invest in your video and audio setup is spent on a single device rather than a whole bunch of things cluttering up your desk. It's $11.99 and you can grab it with the link in the description. However, if you are a very beginner when it comes to creating video, if you want full custom control, if you like your camera in a circle, not a square or a rectangle, if you only need one or two cameras, and maybe you want to use a USB mic and don't care about mixing audio, then this Roadcaster video is not really the right choice for you. You'd be better off with my Bold Video Bundle, a simple kit that gives you simple yet professional quality video with ease, no decisions, and a streamlined approach and you can click here for that. So what questions do you have about this device? Leave a comment below. I am going to dive way deeper into all of the details, show you exactly how to use it and set it up with and without Ecamm so you can get the most out of it. I will see you in the next video.